Saka Fetch YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Let us make this gorgeous and absolutely delicious fried rice. darlings it's so nice to have you back here in my kitchen for yet another amazing recipe today we're making my gorgeous fried rice so here i am prepping all of my ingredients this is gonna be my bell peppers in all colors that i had in my fridge some onions as well and then i'm gonna go ahead and chop up my chicken breast fillet that i had in the fridge as well believe you when i say that i literally went through my fridge and i thought you know what i'm coming up with an amazing recipe with some ingredients that i have in my fridge already so once this is all sliced up you want to go ahead and set it to one side because we're going to go ahead and clean it in some lemon juice and vinegar and then we're going to season it up straight away after washing it up okay now to season it you can use whatever you have on hand so i'll add a little salt a little paprika a little mixed herbs and possibly some all-purpose seasoning a drop of oil to get things going and give it a really good mix now i also had a little bit of lamb chops that i did in a lamb chop video yesterday and i also cut off some of that extra meat on it and instead of throwing it away i was like you know what we're gonna add it to that fried rice so i went ahead and i seasoned it up with the same ingredients like what i seasoned the chicken just a little pinch of salt mixed herbs paprika you know the work give that a good mix and then you want to set it to one side now that everything is prepped you're literally going to put this fried rice together and when i tell you this is so simple to do So to a pan, go ahead and add in a little oil and then you want to go ahead and fry your lamb pieces. This should take no more than 5 minutes, okay? Now you can use any pieces of meat or beef or whatever you have. Honestly, like I said, this was just some lamb that I had and I just diced it up because, you know, I wanted to make this fried rice spectacular. So once it's cooked, I'm not going to remove it from the pan. I'm going to leave it on the side and go ahead and cook my chicken on the other side. And then once the chicken was cooked, you want to go ahead and combine everything together and listen guys once you listen you know once you start going when it comes to fried rice before you know it you're literally at the finishing point however once my chicken and my lamb was cooked i removed it from the pan i added a little bit of oil salted my veggies my mixed herbs and everything i did season it lightly be sure to check down below in the description box for all of the ingredients that i use and yes my love i don't want to talk too much i'm just gonna allow you to watch the video because it's so self-explanatory and just so good
now that all my ingredients have been added to the pan guys i know you can see how amazing this looks this fried rice is giving five stars this fried rice is giving a sauté. this fried rice is giving i love my life <laughs> honestly it was just giving so much like it was so good and i topped it off with some spring onions i chopped that up well you know it's gonna add that nice little freshness and all that good stuff and honestly it was just everything so i really hope you enjoy the recipe try it soon let me know what you think about it it has been a pleasure having you here i hope you guys have been enjoying the content back to back let me know in the comments what you want to see next as always thank you so much for watching Don't forget to purchase my new cookbook, Bomage. Bomage translates to good food in St. Lucian Creole. And this cookbook is basically a little taste of St. Lucian and Caribbean cuisine. It's packed with recipes. Packed, I mean 50 plus. Got all these lovely recipes. Gorgeous. And it's literally only $24.99. You can click the link down below in the description box if you'd like to purchase my book. And guys, once again, thank you so much for all of your support, to all of you who've been purchasing my book, to all of you who have it already. Honestly, I'm so, so grateful. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in my next video.